Happy are you, <clears throat> holy Virgin Mary, and most worthy of all praise. For from you arose the Son of Justice, Christ our God, through whom we have been saved and redeemed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Good. Hello everyone. You're very welcome to Mass today on the Feast of Our Lady of Perpetual Help. Now that's only associated with the Diocese of Hallam because Our Lady is the patroness of this diocese. So, to prepare ourselves to celebrate Mass, let us first call to mind our sins and ask the Lord to forgive us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your faithful who rejoice under the patronage of the Most Holy Virgin Mary may be freed by her motherly intercession from all evils on earth and merit the attainment of eternal joys in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz and said, Ask the Lord your God for a sign for yourself coming from the depths of Sheol or from the heights of above. No, Ahaz answered, I will not put the Lord your God to the test. Then Isaiah said, Listen now, house of David. Are you not satisfied with trying the patience of men without trying the patience of God too? The Lord himself therefore will give you a sign. It is this, the maiden is with child and will soon give birth to a son whom she will call Emmanuel, a name which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. My heart exults in the Lord. I find my strength in my God. May you be blessed, my daughter, by God most high, beyond all women on earth. And may the Lord God be blessed, the creator of heaven and earth. The trust you have shown shall not pass from the memories of men, 
but shall ever remind them of the power of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After Jesus had ascended into heaven, the apostles went back to Jerusalem, a short distance away, no more than a Sabbath walk. And when they reached the city, they went to the upper room where they were staying. There were Peter and John, James and Andrew, Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James son of Alphaeus and Simon the Zealot, and Jude son of James. All these joined in continuous prayer, together with several women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. The Word of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Happy is the Blessed Virgin Mary, who without dying won the palm of martyrdom beneath the cross of the Lord. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, this is your mother. And from that moment, the disciple made a place for her in his home. The Gospel of the Lord. As I said at the beginning, today is the feast of Our Lady of Perpetual Help. Now, this particular icon of Our Lady of Perpetual Help I have before the altar today, it's a Byzantine icon that is believed to have its origin somewhere in the 13th to the 15th century. The image is also known as Our Lady of Perpetual Succor. The icon is known for being miraculous. So over the centuries, countless healings and special graces have been attributed to it. So much so that the image has been honoured and venerated by many popes. Now the miraculous icon here depicts the Virgin Mary under the title Mother of God, holding the child Jesus. The archangels Michael and Gabriel, hovering in the upper corners, hold the instruments of his passion. Saint Michael, in the left corner, holds the spear, the white, the white wine-soaked sponge, and the crown of thorns. Saint Gabriel, in the right-hand corner, holds the cross and the nails. The intent of the artist was to portray the child Jesus contemplating a vision of his future passion. Frightened by the vision, he runs to his mother for consolation. The anguish he feels is shown by the loss of one of his sandals as he quickly flees into the arms of his mother. Despite a foreboding vision of suffering, the icon also conveys the triumph of Christ over sin and death, symbolized by the golden background as a sign of the glory of the resurrection. The royal crowns on the heads of Jesus and Mary also symbolize their triumph as the King of Kings with his Queen Mother. It is a very beautiful way, or in a very beautiful way, the child Jesus grasps the hand of the Blessed Mother. He seeks comfort from his mother as he sees the instruments of his passion. The position of Mary's hands, both holding the child Jesus, who seems like a small adult in the picture, and at the same time representing him to us, convey the reality of the Lord's incarnation, that he is true God and true man. 
what Our Lady of Perpetual Help means to us. Just as the child Jesus fled into the arms of his mother when he was frightened, so too do we flee into the arms of our Blessed Mother with childlike confidence whenever fear, fear envelops our hearts. And just as the Virgin Mother consoled and comforted our Divine Child, so does, does she console and comfort us, her spiritual children, in our afflictions. We can always come to her in our time of need and receive her help. Mary is represented as the one who guides us to the Redeemer. The Virgin Mother is also our help who intercedes with his Son on our behalf. The star painted on Mary's veil and on her forehead highlights her role in the plan of salvation as both Mother of God and our Mother. To this day, the Church of St. Alphonsus, which is run by the Redemptress in Rome, displays the original icon of Our Lady of Perpetual Help. They are the guardians and promoters of the Holy Icon, the only religious order entrusted with the task of doing so with the venerated image of Our Lady. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me from my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the prayers and offerings of your faithful presented in commemoration of Blessed Mary, the Mother of God, that they may be pleasing to you and may confer on us your help and forgiveness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless and glorify your name on the solemnity of Our Lady of Perpetual Help. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise you, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, 
Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pr pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Ralph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Jesus taught us to call God our Father, and so we say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only the word and my soul shall be healed. The Lord has looked on his lowly handmaid. Behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed.
Let us pray. Renewed by the sacrament of salvation, we humbly beseech you, Lord, that we who have honored the veneration and memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, may merit to experience in perpetuity the fruits of your redemption through Christ our Lord. Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go now in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. <laughs>